commentating of the crew, and it's Terry Crews. That's right. This is a part of the last game that we have here for the regulation of the season. And so far, it is coming down near the end of September, but you're about to be finding out for every two weeks of the game. So this already had happened like two weeks already, but now, this is what happens already, when this gets right into the list. You're about to be witnessing right in between it then, as this will be the next part of the game, in between like Saturday or Sunday. But, this is the last part of it, as the Lakes of Minnesota, Face against the Los Angeles Sparks at Crypto.com Arena. For the part of it, at least starting for the Minnesota Lynx head coach, we have Cheryl Reed. And it was part of a name here that was happened to be announcing the head coach of the president of the basketball operations and has been named for the coach of the month for June after leading the Minnesota to a 9 2 record and its first Commissioner's Cup championship. It was all that happened with the WNBA Finals. That was all that did happen. Here's how they, here's our starting lineups. Corby Williams, Kayla McBride, Diamond Villa, Nafessa Boyer, and Alana Smith. And for the other side, for the Los Angeles Sparks head coach, is Kurt Miller. He's the official one here for a male head coach of the basketball. And a part of the Los Angeles Sparks taking his responsibilities as a spokesperson and a role model, especially during the Pride Month. And here's how they starting groups for the Sparks. Lacia Clarendon, Lexi Brown, Kia Nurse, Derrica Envy, and Azura Stevens. And let's say this, this is what happens now. Who's going to take the win of the game? You'll find out what it is. Let's take you down to Crypto.com Arena as Blake, Tim, and Brian stand by. We'll see you later for each of the games, halftime, and post-game show. See you later, everybody.
He's off on the first. It seems like every year, De'Erica Hamby just gets better. And that's a testament to her drive and work ethic. Williams gets it to go. What a perfect release that time. I thought it might get blocked, but no. Yeah, she was giving up a lot of size in that matchup. Excellent ability to get off the long range shot. Now here's Clarendon. And we're about one minute into the first. And the laser ball. Strong rebounding and she gets the easy putback as a result. Now here's Miller. Defended by Nurse. Back to Miller. Pick ride. Now here's Brown. Pass to Clarendon. Hamby with the ball. Brown, McBride covering. Here's Hamby. And she uses a glass on the way. Tremendous work by Hamby winning the rebound. She puts it right back up to the bucket. Collier outside. On the wing, Courtney Williams. Now here's Miller. Defended by Nurse. And that one's good. It's all your Oh, the, the high degree of difficulty made from Collier. What an adjustment in body control. Now here's Clarendon. She's guarded by Williams. Pass to Hamby. Tipped. And the Lynx pushing it up now. She gets it in there. Fast break hoops, often they start with great D. Williams stole the ball, which set up the hoop. Now Handy. Now Stevens, covered by Smith. Now here's Brown. And the three off target. Collier outside. It's Diamond Miller on the wing. Back to Collier. Williams. Let's it go for 14. Again, Minnesota. I feel like the rest of the basketball has forgotten about the mid-range game. Not Williams. She still uses this part of the court. Outside Clarendon. Second shot opportunity. Steven. That's good. She got caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance points. They need more effort than that on the boards. Yeah. That can't happen. Absolutely. Now, here's Williams. She has seven. Pass to Collier. Back to McBride. Four on the shot clock. Here's Williams. And it's Nurse with the rebound. The Sparks training. Plenty of space. And good, as it snuffs right down through the net. You are not going to hit that shot too often. Outside Miller. Williams, Clarendon covering. Pass to McBride. Over Brown. They get it again. Outside Miller. Up top, Williams. Outside Miller. Brown with it. Now guarded by McBride. Outside Clarendon. Back to Brown. Just outside. Just five on the clock. Fires from deep. Rebound by the Lynx. She's got to know not to take that shot when she's so closely defending. Pass to Williams. Miller. Over Nurse. 
And the Lynx miss again. Two minutes remaining in the two minutes. Guarded by Williams. Outside Clarendon. Down low, Bambi. Goes up again. And she takes it up and lays it in. Never a bad idea to get it to Hamby inside. She's almost automatic from there. The Lynx with the lead. And here's Williams. She's got seven. Collier outside. Big ride. She's covered by Brown. And the basket by McBride. As consistent as they come in terms of scoring the basketball, McBride is able to put the ball in the bucket in a I'm not called to smart. Well, free throws aren't normally the first thing you bring up, but Kayla McBride may be the best ever from the strike. After her career, Kayla usually hovering around the 90% mark. Only Alina Deladon is ahead of her. That just tells you how much McBride takes pride in the details. Something you should know about this winner. It was happened like the last part of it of this game. It wasn't really the innocent way. But this game happened to be with a Lynx that just made that one with a struggle to get that one winning. You know, it's not always easy enough when you're just saying for like Sylvia Powell's and Candace Parker are the only one that was the best women's professional basketball players. They're doing so well in it, and you know, they've done really that hard work pays up. Yeah, I was basically saying this when you were cool. When you know about Candace Parker, this is what happens to be one of the better ones to take. As you already noticed, that everybody has noticed that of Candace Parker, 38 years of age, and definitely calling the name Ace. You know, that's what happened to be here since 2008 was the WNBA draft by the Los Angeles Sparks. I spent 13 seasons on the Sparks, two seasons with the Skies, and one season with the Aces, winning a championship. It's a reward for the students to keep their eyes on the ladder. All right, let's send it over back to Blake. Upstairs in the room with some substitution. On the left wing, here's McDonald. Not gonna go that time. Now Fisa Collier with some nice D. Pass to Heideman. Yes, it's now Fisa Collier picking up the assist. Very clever passing. She put that ball on a silver platter for her. Williams. Here's Kone. She's guarded by Stevens. Six on the shot clock. Here's Collier. This is the wing jumper. Well, that's just not a sight you see very often because she has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when she's open. Now here's McDonald. Now Burrell. Outside McDonald. Back to Stevens. And it's good for two. Sweet lucky to who to get props to McDonald, recognizing the open teammate. Pass it. Pass it. Up in time. The shot is no good. That's the end of the first goal. It's been a goal. It's been a goal. Well, Los Angeles Park number two coming up right after this break. You don't go anywhere. A close game, now entering the second quarter. And for what we've seen from the Lynx, what's your take so far? This team's on the same page. They're right where they need to be on offense. Yeah, they're on the same page, the same chapter, you know, whatever you want to call it. And they're hitting their scorers right when they need to. Make scoring just easy for them. Side. Stevens, that's good. That's a great example of Stevens' comfortability and focus around the basket. So effective down there. Here's Heideman. Over to the wing. Pass to Williams. 
Damn good at that time. A natural score. Williams has a bunch of dribble moves she can unleash. Here's McDonald. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. And here's Carlton. And we played through the first minute here in the second. And stolen by Harry McDonald. Pass to Stevens. Hook. Here's Burrell. Here's Stevens. And she finishes nicely on the last. Excellent last minute decision to pull the shot down and make the dish. So the links now. Here's Kune. She's guarded by Stevens. Back to Williams. And here's Heidemann. Shoots over McDonald. Heidemann, no good. That's too good a luck to pass up there, despite the result. Here's Cook. It's good, and he makes the first shot of the game. Minnesota calls a timeout. And we look at this 2023 draft class. Lots of potential stars. Another exciting injection of talent. Yeah, you said it. I mean, it feels like every year the draft classes raise their level of play. I love the first overall pick, Aaliyah Boston. She's a 6'5 difference maker with a tremendous motor. She was the player on a national title team in college. And she's just got such a deep bag of skills. Oh yeah, Boston's gonna be a star. Lots of players to love taking after her. It's 6'3", Diamond Miller to guard the one through four. And I also love Haley Jones, a national title winner herself with tremendous versatility. You know, the tough thing about this one happens to be Kendrick, Candace Parker. They elected the Sparks to win the five their first WNBA final since 2002. And then it was the winner of the WNBA finals MVP award. It was happening with 2021 as she got the Sky win, her first title. Now she has won two of the most valuable player awards in 2008 and 2013. And now the All-Star Game MVP award was in 2013. How big she is, everybody just really loved her. The favorite goes in between. Don't forget, we got a halftime show that's coming up on your way soon, so we'll see you guys later on the other side. As you said, we'll just to play. We'll make substitutions. No links trailing. Outside Miller. The kick out to McBride. Over Brown. And the basket by McBride. A kick is much easier than that for Miller. She kept her head on a swivel and didn't overthink it. McDonald with it. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely the case. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. Very close call there on the illegal screen. I'd go along with this. You know, to me, it didn't really look like her feet were set. The Sparks making a switch here. Carlton, she's covered by Hamby. Back to McBride. And it's Diamond Miller picking up that assist. Operating with an awesome swagger and confidence, McBride has become must-watch television. Now here's Nurse. Pass to Brown. Five to shoot. Out to Nurse. This one for three. Wide open misses like that can be confidence shakers. Here's Heidemann. Brings it from beyond the yard. Always looking for holes in the defense. It's McBride's recognition that allows her to slice up any defensive speed. Now here's Clarendon. Here's Hamby. In the hoop for her third major of the field. She's three for four thus far in the contest. Ran her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Here's Miller. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Carlton. She's covered by Hamby. Pass to Miller. 
over Nurse. Another no. one falls for Minnesota. I love the lack of hesitation. Miller doesn't even question the mid-range look. And when you talk about the most athletic players in the league, Diamond Miller is right there at the top of the list. 6'3", with elite speed and quickness, she's just a nightmare to defend in transition. Seeks the triple. Well, the D sacked off, and no hesitation on her part to rise up and carry the three. Pass to Heidemann. Smith. Outside Miller. Here's Carlton. Just her first attempt. Basket is good. The assist from Diamond Miller. I like the decision there for Miller moving the ball. The sparks trailing. To the paint. Here's Hamby. And she lays it straight in. She always knows where her teammates are going to be, and she'll have that ball there waiting for them. Right outside. Miller. Pass to Smith. Back to the uh, Miller. Two minutes for the game. Two minutes for the game. Two minutes for the game. Fourteen feet out. Brown grabs the board. Miller grabs the miss. She thought she had a clear path to the hoop, but did great work by the D to cut her off. Heedman. Clarendon covering from 17 feet out, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Now here's Clarendon. Nurse outside. Outside Clarendon. Six to shoot. Round up top. Nurse. Here's Andy. And at last, they get one to fall. That's not easy. When you get bumped and still hit it like Andy, it's so hard to do. Pass to Miller. It's stolen by Andy. Andy. Minnesota grabs the miss. Now Carlton. Now Heidemann. Claire didn't covering. And here's Heidemann. Clock at six. Pass to Carlton. Heedman. Claire didn't covering. Shot clock violation. Violations. Los Angeles sports ball. And the league's making a change here. Here's Clarendon. Pass to Stevens. With four on the clock. Got a piece of it. Because of Smith. That's the end of the first half. Los Angeles Sparks. The one where he said, Minnesota Lynx. 30. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going on here. Leafs ahead. They're up by three. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. All right. Thank you so much, Sir Blake. As we get this thing showing you what the first half looks like. Over to you, Boomer. How the Minnesota Lynx got? You know, stepping in was a great impression. That inbounding had to be Courtney and everybody else that's been trying to play it so rumbly in the key. That motion is going to take a lot of defensive snaps. And playing offensively, it was a hard one to tell. Over to you, Terry Cruz, for the Los Angeles Sparks. Well, I gotta say that the Sparks are playing like it's a little close content in the game. But I'm hoping there is a go out of the great baskets out there, so there might be a chance. If they're going to get it this way, you're done, you're going to have to find out what fast. Well, folks, that's a do here for the halftime show. Let's send you back down to Crypto.com Arena. Over to you, Blake, and we'll see you all later. Most of you enjoy next. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. I mean, good, solid game by Hamby. Well, I think it'll be important to see if they can stop her down in the second half, because so far, they have not had 
any answer for her when she's down the block. Yeah, maybe mix it up her lows, bumping her out, front her, double down, just do something to throw her off her rhythm. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. To the middle. And she floats it in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. It's been Hamby's night with the front office, the coaching staff. They love her combination of size and skill. A true modern big. Now here's Collier. Williams with it. Clarendon covering. For three, Caleb McBride hits the three-point bomb. Can Over. score from anywhere on the court, and McBride is really taking on that alpha personality type. Here's Clarendon. Stevens, covered by Smith. Pass to Hamby. And that'll be out of out of out of out of Sparks ball. Sparks able to keep the ball here. She had no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. Yeah, and that was important because probably would have been a quick two points if she doesn't knock it out of bounds. So I love that effort level. Now here's Clarendon to the paint. Nurse, that's good. And it's really just Clarendon with the assist. It's good seeing Nurse capitalize inside. These types of shots help get her into a group. Right outside. Pass to Collier. Back to McBride. Now here's Miller. Defended by Nurse. McBride outside. Clock at four. Here's Miller. Another one falls for Minnesota. Counting the paint. Got to go. 90 seconds into the second half now. Now here's Nurse. And the shot goes in. The defender is desperately even get a sniff of her on that move to the island. Minnesota has the buildings. Okay, let's take a look at your crystal balls. What's next for the WNBA, guys? Expansion is the easy answer. More cities in the league, more players in the league. Well, I'm 100% with you. Looking at those roster cut lists in the preseason, you see so many talented players left off teams. We have the, the, the talent for more than 12 teams right now. Got to have a quick break, and then we'll get right back to you soon. The WNBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by Google. The official car provider of the NBA and WNBA. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Smith outside. Pass to McBride. Collier. Back to McBride. Smith. She's guarded by Stevens. The Sparks trailing. It's the nurse on the wing. McDonald. For the tie. And it's Courtney Williams with the rebound. And here are the links now. Pass to Smith. Collier. Here's the floater. The shot's good. Oh, check out the creativity from Collier. She makes the floater look a lot easier than it actually is. And when you watch Courtney Williams, she's really an old school two guard. Yeah, she is a really fun player to watch. 5'8", Williams, she doesn't take a lot of threes. Her MO is the slash, attack, uh, play in the mid-range. Courtney gives defenses something they don't really see too much in the world, and that really works in her favor. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. Here's McBride, score the bucket. She's made five so far, shooting a nifty five for seven. Well, this is the confidence that McBride has in herself. She understands how to carve through defenses with her ball handling. Now here's Hamby. 12 points for her. Knocks it loose. Let's 
side, Stevens. Shot clock at six. Here's McDonald. The put back controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. I admire how Stevens relentlessly crashes the boards. It's, it's pretty special for a young player. Now, here's Williams. Nine points in the game. Oh, your right side. And she converts the layup. Don't underestimate Collier's ability as a distributor. The passes that make you say, wow. Timeout called the Sparks. And you love how Matisse Collier has stepped up and is a real leader on the floor. I think we all expected it from the former rookie of the year, but it's nice to see her as a guiding voice on the floor. Someone that other players can look to in the big moments. Seemed like a big moment out there. And you know how that happens with Sparks. They are pretty compassionate for the LA team. Yeah, they, I always say that this is what I always have to call it that. You know, the more bigger reason is for the Los Angeles Sparks. They've been playing this so hard. And thanks to Candace Parker for helping the team to win. She's really impressed with how everybody's been doing. And just how you can remember it, it's all that you have to believe on. Like you have to play it like you did. And with that one, we are re reaching down to a new NBA season and for NHL. We have a great matchups in between. The preseason will begin in November 30th. And with the other team to get this thing hyped up, NHL is about to bring things coming in. Preseason will be, will be on its way to get this thing started. That will be on November 25th, down on the other side of it to keep the range on the line. And for the following along with these games, keep your eyes peeled for the regular season. They'll be underway shortly after the game. Teams decided to change it up. Now let's get right back into this. Blake, all you. Here's McDonald. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Good. Covered by Smith. Pass to Burrell. McDonald. Inside. Here's Stevens. That's good. And it's Gary McDonald. With the fundamentally sound skill set, Stevens is able to create offensively. It's two on one. Here's Cook. Rebounded by Nafisa Collier. The Lynx leading. Smith left side. Pass to Carlton. Collier with it. And the top call on Nafisa Collier. That's foul number two for her. Great play to sacrifice her body, take the charge, giving up her body for the team. And really a heads up play as well. Reads the play nicely and gets in the perfect position. And so she runs back to the line. The official saw the contact and the official plays two. Teams first. What a play to tap the and get inside. And the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. So after making the first, she goes one for two. Now here's Smith. Defense right on. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two That's minutes. Nick Ride. Now Carlton. Here's Smith. And again, no good by Minnesota. Here's McDonald. To the inside. Yeah. 
McDonald, a new school, score first guard. She does have great passing skills, though. Down low, hit right. Yes! Courtney yeah. Williams with the assist that time. Great communication between teammates there. And here's Cook. For the tie. McDonald, no good. She has slipped into a real funk here. Definitely. The basket is not looking very big to her at this point. Now, here's Williams. Nine points in the game. For three, Kittle McBride trails the three-pointer. I love how McBride is unafraid of making mistakes, and she really just plays her game and then will live with the results. Here's McDonald. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. To the paint. Here's Cook. And the layup's good off the glass. A good decision maker with a strong feel for the game. Stevens can spot open teammates whenever she's out on the court. Now here's Williams. Carlton shot is off. And terrific defense at the rim got right in her path. And you know they'll be worrying about her next time they take it inside too. And really got to be great with defenders with duty. Nice accurate pass right into the middle. Now here's Williams, guarded by McDonald. Smith outside, Collier right side. Six on the shot clock. Here's Carlton. And that one good. Carlton. Look, I know she doesn't have the most or the best that's the end of this little quarter. Los Angeles Sparks, 44. Comes to a close. Mm -hmm. Up by four. And we're coming back right after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Well, this is what being on the, the same page looks like. Fantastic feed and a heads up play all around. And how can you not be a fan of a sequence like that? This is what beautiful basketball is all about. Yeah, unselfishness, just, just wonderful stuff. And welcome back as we get rolling once more. Fourth quarter right ahead and what'll be a very well contested game. Now here's Williams. Now Kone, Collier outside, over Hemi, and yes, Nafisa. she nails it. Yeah, with Nafisa Collier, you know, a, a player that chips in everywhere, including the mid-range. Pass to Brown, uncovered, that one goes, counted, and stuns a lot of both teams. I love the pace of this game. Yeah, the pace is only picking up the deeper we get into this game. This has absolutely been a fun one to watch. There's Heidemann. Here's Kone. Miller, defended by Nurse. It's stolen by Hamby. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. And a miss there on the triple. Outside Miller. Collier. Yes. And it's Diamond Miller picking up that assist. Zero fear. As soon as she gets the rock, Collier ready to fire. Pass to Stevens. Hamby, Miller defending. And open look for Kia Nurse. It's all in by the links. Well, she's a player who, with a wide open look, will rarely miss. Grab that one up quick. Her assist average has increased. Of course, the year of the league, Williams has become a more willing passer. Great five. Lexi Brown on the wing. Perfect on the shot. Pass and switches it through. So the links now. Six point lead. Collier outside. Pass to Heidemann. Williams. Here's Kone. She's guarded by Stevens. Back to Williams. Over Brown. And it's Minnesota scoring again. Clarendon with it. 
tipped away. Finds the bottom of the bucket from about 13 feet out. That's the advantages for Nurse. She's six feet, so tall for a point, allows her to get a clear view of the whole courts. Here's Kune. Williams, she's covered by Brown. Pass to Heideman. Outside Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Kune. Andy grabs the miss. And it's the Sparks ball. Six point game. Now Fisa Collier with the block. Not today. Collier, a very good shot blocker. Really good with her timing. Pass to Heideman. Outside Williams. Another three for Minnesota. And they are just killing them with the three point shot here in the second half. Yeah, and the defense oh, knows no, it. No, 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 no. out there trying to stop the three and still haven't been able to do it. Yeah, no defensively what they can do different at this point. I'm out called the Sparks. Looks like the coach saw some things out there that need adjusting. And it's going to take a little time to talk it over. Yeah, and never a bad idea to use a timeout if there's something that's got you concerned. You know, biggest concerns happen, but there's a lot of things to change. Yeah. All this needs to be up in the curb builder. That could be one way to have that one finish off in the sparks. That might be the one thing to have to go with. So if you're sticking around here for the regular season, the season for the NBA on 2K25 is on its way. That will be the start of it on its run on November 30th for the preseason. And the regular season matchup will begin on December 7th. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled and make sure you have your mark down on your calendar because that will be the first game to have that one's home opener. And with the other side of the game, we've got a great Wednesday take for you as the first game starts off on December 1st. That will be the first one to take on for the NHL 25 for his home opener game to get things on the roll. Don't miss out. All games here, only on Santa Beats. And if we'll be seeing the making of 700, we got a game. Now, let's get back into the game and post game shows on your way soon. Back to you, Blake. If you're just tuning in, welcome. We've played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Got a nice open look right there. A confident shooter from deep. When Brown finds just a little space in the perimeter, she waits no time. Firing away. Now here's McBride. Pass to Collier. Miller with it. Defended by Nurse. Elbow shot. Another one falls for Minnesota. Unselfish play by Collier. This team loves to have it. Here's Brown. She's guarded by Williams. Back to Brown. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Just really good awareness right there on the assist. The Lynx leading. Pass to Collier. Smith with it. McBride outside. Over Brown. Misses off the right iron. That's one she knows she should have drained. Side Stevens. A three pointer off the mark. Outside Williams. Yes, and it's Diamond Miller picking up that assist. Such a dynamo offensively. Williams, a very streaky scorer. Once she makes a couple of baskets, watch out. Now here's Clarendon. To the middle. Two minutes. Williams. Pass to Smith. On your right side. Over Hamby. Again. Minnesota. Well, she's been reliable again today. They need her points, and she's providing them. And it's the Sparks ball. Trailing by 10. And there's the foul. It's on Diamond Hill. That is the fourth foul of the game to use for his first two foul. Here's 
Clarendon. Pass to Stevens. Rebounded by Nafisa Collier. You know, they did the right thing to stay so tight on her. That's her comfort zone. Now Williams. Clarendon covering. Now here's Smith. That just adds to what's probably already an insurmountable lead. I think they'll be leaving here with a win. Yeah, hard to imagine any other outcome than the one that's staring us right in the face. Now here's Clarendon. Right now, Kayla McBride. Collier outside. Back to McBride. Smith. Clock at six, and a basket by Miller. I don't want to say that they're trying to run up the score, but uh, they do keep adding up to that lead. Well, if you won't say it, partner, I will. They're trying to run up the score here. Thanks for saying that, Brian. Again, the miss by the Sparks. About three seconds between the shot clock and game clock. Shoots a three, bangs on the trifecta. They are putting the hammer down. Just a huge lead for them. And it doesn't matter if we're talking about their offense or their defense because it has all been working for them. Yeah, to build this lead, you have to keep going. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Just trading punches from long range. What a heavyweight fight. And this is the Lynx team of the WVU. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. Yeah, they really did feel good until 4 2. They were never this bad at all by the opposing teams. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone. This Blake, and Blake will follow along with Brian and Tim. We wish you a have a wonderful evening. So long, everyone. All right, thank you guys so much. The Lynx just made that one impossible. All this happened now, not an easy take, but that keeps on showing by. Here's how he did, total statistics. That's right, we got a great one of the matchups. I really haven't seen anybody doing that, but the Lynx did really well. 72 to 58 is your final score. 72 over 49 field goals, along with 67 percentage of the free pointers. But it was only 25% for the Los Angeles Sparks. Only that, but no foul given by the Los Angeles Sparks to get free throws for the Minnesota Lynx. Five fast break points was only Minnesota. 42 and second chance for 12 for the Los Angeles Sparks. 11 bench points with 29 assists for Minnesota Lynx. It is incredible. Only nine defensive rebounds for the Los Angeles Sparks. Only 22 defensive rebounds for the Lynx. Then it was six steals for Los Angeles. Two blocks made that one incredible to make. That's all that happens with eight turnovers and no team foul given for Los Angeles Sparks. That is lucky. And with 17 biggest lead of the game for the Minnesota Lynx and 1442 was the time of possession. And now I send it over again now to Terry Cruz for three star players of the game. All yours. All right, thank you so much, Jay Boomer. Time to see who can take it all. The third star starts things over as I give a great warm to give Lexi Brown a 15 point, two rebounds, two assists, and one steal. Six out of nine field goals are made and only three three-pointers is definitely knocking down the jam. With 19 performance effort, it was pretty clear that she had gotten it right from behind the range. The outside of it just had it all. Now onto the number two spot. This is a tie, and looks like we have a lot of them that's going along around here. But, we've got great ones to take. It's Kayla McBride, with 16 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, and it was just in between 7 out of 10 field goals, 2 three-pointers, and only 24 performance. I love that McBride is definitely making a finishing off of the move. And you can't just say now, what McBride done is a finishing way to get there. And your number one star goes to Nafisa Collier. With the one block and only seven rebounds and five assists, she scored 16 points also. Eight out of ten field goals were made, and it just happened to be 26 performance effort. That was putting up a great look, and she got it all. 
And that's going to do here for the game of the Sparks vs. the Lakes. I hope everybody's enjoying your day and the WNBA has come to an end. And so you all have to make your way if you're keeping an eye to watch on the WNBA playoffs. Keep your eyes peeled here. That will be on the other side of it very soon. And who knows? Maybe there might be one of the teams that could head into the final two for the WNBA finals. Keep your eyes peeled for that one too. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed it, and so do I. Thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you all again for the other side, as for the preseason is starting off on November 30th for the WNBA to NBA 2K25. This is Boomer and Terry Crews. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again for the next season of the NBA on 2K Sports. Peace out, folks, for a while, SCW NBA on 2K Sports Isle. This is Boomer and Terry Cruz signing out. See you next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.